The Mysterio family. WWE signed up for the Mysterio family plan. It's always cheaper to bundle. Rey Mysterio and Dominic both re-signing with the company today, or at least news of them re-signing and re-upping with the company came out. Dominic's deal is a believed to be five years, although no confirmation, and nobody is sure what Ray's deal is. But Mysterio and Dom re-upping with the company. Company Dominic is a no-brainer. Dude's been doing great work all year. When you think about how many great and over baby faces and wrestlers we're seeing, you know, in WWE alone, you know, forget about AEW as well, but in WWE alone, think about think about the roster that little Dominic has to contend with. And the fact that he is a shining star, you know, in, in a group of wrestlers that are pretty goddamn magnificent is awesome for him. It was just a couple of years ago. He was in the ring, not really doing a whole lot for us. I don't know about this kid. You know, he's not ready. A lot of stuff, you know, going around about Dominic. He just wasn't that appealing. He wasn't, you weren't getting invested in him. You didn't care about him. You liked him because you remember the ladder match with Eddie. Of course, you like him out of respect for Ray. But the minute, and I mean the minute he started hooking up with Mommy, and this goes all the way back to last year, last uh, Thanksgiving in 2022, when Dom and Rhea are showing up at Ray's house and kicking his ass in his den and shit, and then showing up at Christmas and Valentine's Day, acting like total menaces, that was a year ago, and they are still just as strong as a heel power couple as ever, if not more so. And Dominic is uh, rapidly becoming one of my favorite people. The booze and the heat that he has is genuine. Plus, he's just so good at being that dumbass, chicken tender eating kid. And I just found out that Canada is also part of North America, you know, shit like that. I mean, tonight, too, it was uh, after JD loses to our truth and they're in the backstage area and Dominic's talking to him. And he's like, don't worry about it, JD. It could have been a lot worse, like the time that Randy Orton did this to you, or like the time that Jey Uso did that to you, or like the time that Cody did this to you, and starts rattling off all the other times JD has been humiliated even worse than he was by our truth it's, it's that type of innocence coming out of Dominic that I just love. And he's my MVP for this year, you know, because there's so many great wrestlers. The reason I kind of have him as the MVP is because he's kind of like an underdog. You're like, I cannot believe of all of this great talent, the Sammys, the Owens, the, the Cody's, the Rollins, the Romans, the Jays. Dominic is the one that is really kind of standing out. Drew McIntyre, another guy doing the best character work of his career right now, you know, and yet, and yet Dominic. <laughs> The little fucker shaking the ladder at 2000, in 2005 at SummerSlam is the one impressing me the most. It's a wild time.